Hey guys and welcome. This is a general reading for the collective of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. This is not a date or time specific reading, so whenever you come upon it, if it speaks to you, it may be your message at that time. But it is a general reading, not a private reading, so it may not resonate for all of you. Always best to just take what speaks to you, leave the rest. Um, as per private readings, they are still available. Um, there's a link in the description box below. It'll take you to the booking page if you want to uh, learn more about it. And just a heads up, I am considering stopping readings or cutting back on them for the balance of the summer as I will be working on some other projects. So if you've been on the fence, now would be the time to go get your spot, okay? And it's first come, first serve. So you're not picking a date. You're just getting in the queue. All right. So let me see. This is Prairie Majesty Oracle. You're going to get a word, a totem. Yeah. And something to consider. Yeah. Let's see what comes through. You can be here as a cross watcher for a Leo. That's fine. Sometimes the messages come through more directly for you than about your person but always in connection with them as I read for relationships. Let's see what you get. Ooh, your word is emerge. I love this. This is perfect. Um, your totem is the Eastern Tiger Swallowtail. That's a butterfly. What am I opening into? Emerge. What am I opening into? Beautiful. And for those of you who've been paying any attention to the astrology, um, Venus is in the sign of Leo, and she's in that pre-shadow uh, retrograde phase. So I believe on the 17th, um, she will hit the 28 degree point where she will retrograde back from. But she's going to stay at 28 degrees for like 11 days. She's going to stay there a few days. On the 22nd, she literally turns around. She hangs out there for a few more days. Um, and then she's going to backtrack back to 12 degrees. So very interesting that you get this sort of emergence and um, what you're opening into, especially in matters of the heart since um, Venus will be in Leo for quite a while due to her retrograde. I like it. All right, let's see what comes through. I will be pulling the spread, whoops, and uh, modified Celtic cross. I'll give you my overall impressions, and then we'll get the details by clarifying. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I hope if you enjoy the reading, you'll consider joining us here by subscribing. I am coming up on four years on the channel, would love more subscribers, getting my message to more people is always my objective. So, welcome. Here we go. Mmm, Hermit, we got some Virgo energy there, and the Chariot. Chariot is crossing you here. Wow. What's going on, Leo? Look at all the majors. Um, one, two, three, four major arcana, the Knight of Swords. So here's where we are right now. I feel like you're coming into the reading here. Um, it could be you or your person a little bit um, cloistered. Okay, the Hermit is about personal growth, self-exploration, introspection. It's also the path that we're walking. It can be a very solitary journey sometimes. And so sometimes we feel a little isolated or our person uh, feels unapproachable. So it, you're going to have to take it as it resonates for you. And we'll probably know better when we get to the clarifiers. What's crossing you here is the ability to make any progress. Um, the chariot is the challenge, which is forward motion, progress, um, victory even. So it feels to me like there's something that's um, either causing you some hesitation or your person is just sort of not approachable or accessible at this time. In your unconscious awareness, the Three of Pentacles would be speaking about cooperation, the two of you being on the same page. It's also a card of friendship. Right, like the basis for any good relationship, if it's going to be anything, um, has to be friendship. And friends usually are cooperative and they co-create. 
um, the energy between them. So that's what's in your unconscious awareness. In the past, Page of Pentacles is something you've been learning and exploring. It feels like new territory, possibly could be um, baby steps in this connection. Uh, in your conscious awareness with the Knight of Swords, that's a desire to clear the air quick, fast, and in a hurry, especially for anyone where there's been any kind of argument, disagreement, or not being on the same page, right? Because in the near future, we have the Seven of Wands. And the Seven of Wands can be resistance or defensiveness, but it's also taking a stand for something you desire. So we'll see that with the clarifiers. The Spirit's talking to you about... Um, you're a sense of mastery, knowing that you have everything you need to manifest what it is that you desire, right? So maybe in this um, near future position, you sort of t stand your ground for something that you really are trying to manifest. Um, in the hidden energies from your person, we have the um, high priestess, which does talk about intuition, but because I'm getting the feeling that this hermit energy might be your person, it could be speaking to the lack of communication um, and, and some form of separation between you. And then the beautiful energy of the four of swords going forward, some opportunities for deep reflection, um and healing this is a card of healing so that's the rough lay of the land let's get some details for you hermit and the chariot three of swords oh, i think you've been waiting for an opportunity to talk things through um talking about something that's weighing on your heart very heavily here. So I'm seeing some heartache, some heartbreak, possibly due to some form of separation or this person going off the grid. I'm not seeing you as the hermit now that I see uh, the clarifiers. I'm seeing you waiting for the opportunity to push through, to move forward and make progress by talking through something that has caused one and or both of you um, some heartache. Yeah. And it feels like for some of you, this, whatever it is, happened a long time ago. For others of you, it's more recent, but um, the Seven of Pentacles <coughs> can be a timing reference, and Pentacles move very slowly. So for those of you where this breakdown in communication or some form of separation, occurred long ago that's a little extra added confirmation regardless you've been patiently waiting for the breakthrough three of pentacles yes here it is wow more virgo energy wanting reconciliation um an opportunity um to give and receive forgiveness and i i sort of feel like you're feeling out on your own here um, you don't have the cooperation. That's why the Nine of Pentacles is showing up. She's a single person in the tarot. And what you're after is possibly some form of reconciliation, reunion, forgiveness, redemption, second chances. But there are a lot, there's a lot of confusion and possibly mixed messages, um, probably from the past. I'm not seeing the Five of Cups, but I'm feeling the Five of Cups, like a lot of water under the bridge, confusion from things that sort of um, fell through once upon a time and left you with a lot of emotional confusion, maybe some mixed messages. But the Seven of Cups is coming through um, as some profound sense of um, overwhelm on an emotional level and nowhere to go with it. So let's look at the Page of Pentacles in the past. Mm -hmm. Well, with the Six of Cups, I see the past life soulmate energy, the warmth, the comfort, and maybe treading very carefully, um, walking lightly into this scenario, and maybe kind of bumping up against some resistance. 
So in this part of the reading, I see the seven of wands may be coming from your person, some pushback, some resistance, um, things move, taking very small baby steps, maybe even a little breadcrumbing for some of you um, because of this person's resistance. And the justice card underneath is talking about on an unconscious level, I just want some like a level playing field here, just some balance and harmony, not really asking for much more than that. Um, but all this person could give was very little and anything more that you may have wanted or needed was resisted. So let's see the Knight of Swords. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think you want to clear the air. <laughs> yes. This is your beloved, the love of your life, the keeper of your heart, the one you see a potential future with. This could be speaking to twin flame because we have the four of wands and the six of cups, both of those energies, um, soulmate, twin flame, any label you want to put on it. But it feels to me like you are feeling a sense of urgency to clear the air with this person. Um, they're on, on your mind, in your heart. Um, and I definitely feel like there was a misunderstanding or, um, something was said or done that sent, set, sent this person packing, say that three times fast, sent this person packing. So let's see the seven of wands in the near future. A fool. Yeah, you're not going to give up easily. <laughs> so it's like, no, I want this. Um, we have the Fool, the Lovers, and the Ten of Cups. Remember that the Lovers card is a card of choice. Um, and so you're choosing a soul bond. You're choosing this connection. It's um, um, Again, it can be soulmates or twin flames coming through here. But when you see the lovers and you're thinking about, you know, your happiness and sort of having the progress that's been lacking take effect because there's a leap of faith. There's just, you know, unbridled excitement and a, a, a choice is made in an instant because the fool is guided by the planet Uranus which is like lightning in a bottle. So I'm feeling you're, you're the seven of wands here in the near future where you're like, that's it. I'm just going to take the leap. I'm just going to set this in motion. I've made my choice. I want this connection. I want the happiness. So I am seeing whoever you are watching as finally taking that stand and, and um, declaring what you want and going for it. Spirit's telling you you've got everything you need to make it happen. So let's see the magician. Two of Wands, <laughs> Knight of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. Right, Spirit saying, if you're trying to manifest someone that shows up for you in 3D, choose that path, Two of Wands, and then, you know, begin with the end in mind. Set your plan. Knights make offers, so whatever you're going to bring to the table here with this person has to be something tangible. It also has to be something you've carefully thought through. Cross and T's, dot and I's, moving forward with clarity of purpose, with clear intentions, with um, some measure of um, um, responsibility also to the feelings of the other person. So this knight doesn't come in guns ablazing like the knight of swords and the knight of wands. Moves very slowly, very predictable, predictably, very methodically even. So there is some um, attention here to not just choosing the path that's going to get you to what you are trying to manifest, but also a heads up about how best to proceed because it seems like um, whoever you're dealing with needs to feel a sense of certainty. Uh, so because we've got the uh, high priestess in the hidden energies, let's see what that tells us. In other words, this is not someone who um, responds well to pressure or to a let's go, let's, let's, like, what's the hold up? Mm -mm, they don't respond to that. They'll go the other direction. Aww. Well, here you go. 
even though there's separation now, and if there's not separation, kind of limited communication or something that this person has not yet spoken um, to you, meaning it's kind of they're a, a well-kept secret at this point, they want the reconciliation too. And there's the chariot moving forward, the six of pentacles underneath, a nice reciprocity, equal give and take. Uh, so I do feel with these two sixes, this person may not have clued you into the fact that that's what they want. They want a relationship of equals. They want to be as generous with you as you are with them. They want to make progress. They want the victory with that chariot there um, moving towards something that will uh, resolve any disagreements or any any uh, misunderstandings that have it sort of risen up between you. You're here with the double hit of the Knight of Swords wanting to clear the air. And what they're not saying, and they're just sort of um, processing maybe on their own, since they're, I'm feeling they're the hermit, is their desire to find um, a, a middle ground. Sometimes the Six of Wands is just the focus on a win-win outcome, making peace. And that that's enough of a victory and what we make peace about leads to nice balance in the connection in 3d i did not see that coming so let's see the four of swords okay Ooh. Well, I love that Divine Feminine Energy shows up, which is telling me that on some level, you've got to come from an energy of receptivity. You have to be open, um, open to something that may take a little time to heal, especially because I'm seeing some guarded energy here, um, but healing that guardedness, um, it also is coming through a little bit like self-protection sometimes that four pentacles isn't just guarded like i'm not i'm not gonna give all of myself because we have the six of pentacles which would be that but sometimes it's i don't want to get hurt and so i'm covering my heart chakra i'm not going to expose my heart to you so that could be coming a little bit from both of you. And I'm feeling because you're the one that wants to have the conversation and ha that has been patiently waiting for that to occur, unless you've reversed the whole entire reading. Um, this is about healing that sense of I need to protect myself from someone who doesn't take things seriously. So you may need to be open to how this person approaches you. The Page of Wands, to me, can come through a couple different ways. It can come through um, as lighthearted and flirtatious and um, you know, uplifting and positive, but not with a lot of depth, okay? And sometimes it comes through with a little bit of player energy, you know, the you up kind of an energy. So if you're cautious about this person's intentions, which none of that came through in this reading, but it has come through in other readings, you know, your forward um, facing energy is about healing that and being more open and coming from unconditional love because this person, that may be a cover, that page of wands energy may be a cover from, for, for, from someone who prefers to sort of keep their true feelings under wraps and whenever they're pushed too hard they go mia okay so keep that in mind that's just what's coming through before i give you the astrology here there's a link in the description box in the top sentence that will take you to the extended and we're going to see what your person is up to here they're kind of coming through as the hermit but for lack of a better phrase they're the keeper of your heart so we'll look at how they show up in the reading like what what energy are they showing up with or what's on their mind how do they see the situation presently what's their take on it how do they see you think about you or feel about you at this moment and what are their intentions toward you and the connection going forward and i'll also close with some oracle so that link is below here we go we have um the hermit is virgo for those of you with virgo leo dynamics lots of confirmation there um, chariot is cancerian energy we've got um, judgment is pluto 
um, Pluto rules Scorpio. We've got um, the Nine of Pentacles is more Virgo. Page of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. See where I'm going here. Justice is Libra. Double hit of the Knight of Swords, Gemini, Gemini. King of Cups is Scorpio. The Fool is the planet Uranus, which rules Aquarius. Uh, there's some Gemini in the Lover's card. Lots of Gemini here too. And more Gemini and Virgo in the Magician, which is the card of Mercury. And more Virgo, <laughs> Knight of Pentacles. And the King of Pentacles is Taurus. We have the High Priestess is Pisces. Chariots out a second time, more Cancerian energy. Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And we close with the lovely Venus that I spoke about at the beginning, which rules Taurus and Libra. So that's what I have for you. Very interesting. The link to the extended is below. I'll see you there in a second. Bye for now.